large mouth. Saw him come out and get it from under that tree. Maybe that's where they're going to be today, in the shade. Little guy on the tube. First bass of the day. He's got a little sore on him there. Got you that time. All right guys, this is the sixth smallmouth I've caught today. I didn't get the other ones on film because it was kind of slow and it took me a while to figure them out. But I caught one that was three pounds today already. And every smallmouth I've caught has been on this little Strike King Bitsy Flip jig, black and blue, including that three pounder. And here's a nice little one. Right now I'm just targeting shade lines and trees. And that's where all these smallmouth are hanging out right now. Catch them on this little finesse jig and a little crawl that it's gonna get replaced now. That's a good one. Oh yeah, there's a good one. On that tree, on that jig, under that tree. I knew there'd be one sitting under that tree. That's a two pounder. Oh baby. Good fish. God, I love smallmouth guys. Slam that jig, sitting right under that tree. That's where they are today, hiding in the shade. Wow, he's almost as big as that three pounder I caught. Get over here, buddy. Good fish. Yeah! <laughs> wow, today's been a fun day of fishing, I tell you what. We figured them out on this little finesse jig deal. There is a solid two plus pound smallmouth. These things fight so hard in this river. Skipped it right up under that tree. You guys saw it. Hit the finesse jig. That's what we're doing today. Just fishing under these trees. And he's a little smaller than a three pounder I caught, but this one's easily over two, man. Beautiful fish. Mwah. Awesome. These things are fun to catch. Again, I'm throwing this little, I think it's a Booyah Bitsy Flip jig, and I got a little uh, pit boss on the back as a trailer, a mini pit boss. Let's get back at it. little guy I'm not even watching this I think I see a couple carp over here oh, yeah there's a bunch of carp sitting over here let's see if they're interested in the jig huh there's a bunch of carp sitting over here There's number nine. There's a bunch more over there too. A couple more of them that are a little bigger than this guy. You really gotta work it today to get them to bite it. They're not ready to eat today. Let's see, there's a couple more over there. This is fun. Oh, he spit it. I knew my drag slipped on that hook set. Oh, there's a big carp. Number 10. They're little guys, but man, they are fun. I gotta bring a lighter rod out here next time. 
There are like 10, 20 of these things over here. Look at that. Little guys, but I tell you what, guys, there are tons of videos like this on YouTube where people just come out here and catch a ton of smallmouth. So much fun, no matter what the size are. They're hitting this finesse jig today. Let's catch more. There we go. There's another one. One I just lost was bigger than him. Number 11. Pretty, uh, today it's pretty predictable to where you're gonna find them. Bright sunny day, clear water, they're all sitting in the shade. Number 11. There's a nice one. Oh yeah, good fish. Number 12, good small mouth. Eating the jig today. This is a nice fish actually, is it gonna be over a pound? Look at that bass, nice small mouth. Such a fun day, late September. Got hot temperatures for the next week, it's gonna be in the upper 80s to near 90. It's got these fish moving, good fish. Good one. Oh, baby. Good one. Stay on. Yeah. Good smallmouth on the jig. Good one. Stay on, baby. We figured them out today, guys. Oh, my God. It's a three pounder. It's as big as the first one I caught. Holy crap. That's a big smallmouth. Oh, my God. What an incredible day of bass fishing. There was two more with him too. Look at that, he's got somebody's bait in his mouth. He's got a snake. There's a snake in this smallmouth's mouth. There's a snake in there. Look at that. There's a snake in that bass's mouth. Are you kidding me? There's something else. He's got a crayfish in there too. A snake, a crayfish, my jig, he's still hungry. That is unfreaking believable. Giant pig smallmouth, three and a half pounder. That's probably my new PB right there, guys. Are you kidding me? Had a snake in his mouth. What a freaking fish. That is unbelievable. That's over three. That's my PB, I think. I caught a 3.08 pounder in April. That one's probably three and a half with that belly. He's so heavy. He might have more snakes in the stomach. Oh my goodness. I have to kiss you. What a fish. Go on, girl. That is awesome. Yeah, baby. Number 13 for today. Nice one. No, oh, never mind. He's little. Number 14 coming in. He's swimming at me. Jesus, buddy. Number 14 on this jig. Finesse jigs today. That's what they want. The first bass I caught on this jig today was a three pounder. I saw a three pounder cruising around in the shallows. I threw a jerk bait, a tube at him. He wouldn't hit it. Threw the jig in there and he smacked it on the first drop. 
And ever since then, it's been a sleigh fest. That's 14 smallmouth today now. Good one. There's a good fish. I knew there'd be one by this log. Number 15. Another about a one pounder or so. Sitting right off this little log jam. There he is. Getting this jig today, man. I tell you what. They wouldn't touch a tube. How can you tell me they won't touch a tube? That's like the prime smallmouth bait. They didn't want it today. They wanted the jig. That's another one. Same spot as they were the last time I was here. I walked up river and only caught one more fish. Back to the same spot where I was catching them earlier. They're all up under this tree, man. Number 16. I also caught a largemouth today. So that total, that'd be 17 bass. Jesus, we are putting a beating on them today. So 17 bass, 16 smallmouth. Nice one. Eh, not a nice one, but funner, fun fish. Look at them fighting that clear water, man. This Conestoga River is awesome. This is a tributary of the Susquehanna River. So a lot of these smallmouth in here are, uh, these fish come up here in the spring from the Susquehanna, you know, to spawn and then they stay here throughout the summer because of, uh, there's tons of food in here and the water's plenty deep, lots of places for them to hide. And uh, that's the only reason why there's three, four and five pound smallmouth in here is because they swim up from the Susquehanna, which is a freaking awesome smallmouth fishery. And uh, there's number 17 for today. 17 smallmouth today, guys. Unbelievable. All in this finesse jig. Another one is number 18. Small fish, guys, but they fight hard. I got to come here with a lighter spinning rod the next time even more fun than it is now. It's number 18 today. There he is. Nineteen. Look at them jumping. These things are fun. And they're all getting this jig. This is a pretty big jig for somebody's smallmouth. They're getting it pretty good today. 19 now. So we're up total for 20 bass today, guys. Total for 20. Number 20. This is the same spot I was catching them earlier. I knew I'd come back and hit it before I leave because there'd be more fish on it. And there are a bunch of fish that I missed too. Wow, 20 smallmouth today, guys. That's the most smallmouth I've ever caught in a day, 20. I don't get to fish for these things very often. We don't get them in South Jersey with all them bogs and mud holes. So when I come to school here in Pennsylvania, there's tons of smallmouth to be caught, as well as in upstate New York. 20 smallmouth today. There's more under this tree, watch. Oh, let's, let's make another cast in there. There's gonna be more under here. This tree just keeps producing, man. number 21 
Another fun smallmouth. Man, this is so awesome. 21. And there's still a bunch more sitting in here. 